In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to make this really cool title slide in PowerPoint that is stunning with custom images and custom placeholders for your presentation. And we're starting from a blank slide. Now I'm going to change the layout to blank so we have nothing on the slide to worry about. Next, I'm going to Shapes and I want to choose the rounded rectangle. I'm going to drag it on the screen and rotate it, let's say 45 degrees. Then we're going to zoom out a little bit. You always have this toggle switch at the bottom that you can drag to zoom out a little bit more. Hold the shift key while you're increasing the shapes. So that makes it easy for us to create a clear square on this slide. And then you can choose how you position it. So if you want to position it at the bottom here, we're going to see or look for that overlapping part on the slide. I'm just going to create a copy. So you can control C, control V, or you can use the control and then drag to, to click and to get a different, uh, different shape out of it. So it's an easy way to copy if you want to do that. Then you can always use the arrow key if you want to nudge them to a specific place, or you can just leave them as they are. So here on the left side, we can already see what that preview sort of looks like. You can always change the roundness of the corner if you want to have more or less rounding. That is all done here. So I'm going to keep it as it was. I think that looks quite nice. Now I'm going to zoom out a bit more and then use a rectangle and drag it on top until I sort of meet that border exactly of the slide. So the purpose of this is we're going to do this for the bottom as well, is we're going to cover sort of the parts that are not uh, on the slide. So I'm going to do that three times. So we have it exactly here. If I zoom in, you see that part of the slide. So I'm going to position that right there and make sure it's covering all of the shapes. And what we're going to do next is we're going to select the middle shapes. So all of those go to shape format, merge shapes and union. So these now act as one shape. So we have four shapes on the slide, the background one, top, bottom, and the right one. We want to select the merge shapes, the center ones, hold shift and select the top one. Now we're going to subtract for this one to sort of cut off that top part, hold the same one again. So the middle one, hold shift and click and then subtract once more. And we repeat that for the bottom one until we have this final shape here. I'm going to remove the outline. And now you can see that it acts like one regular shape that I can change the colors of. Let's now change the color of the background. And so for that, I'm going to right click format background and then choose a gradient fill. I'm going to go for a blue stop here on the left and then a different blue stop here on the right. So I'm just going to choose two blues, the standard ones, nothing special about that. You can always choose a rotation if you want to have the dark come from the bottom side that you can play around with here. And now once we have that, we're going to look for our image. And for that, we're going to jump into Unsplash. And here in Unsplash, I'm going to type in uh, waves and look for a nice picture of a wave. You can choose any picture that you like. That doesn't really matter. Let's take this one and then I'm going to download it in medium or large. You can choose. Now we jump back into PowerPoint. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in the image that we've downloaded and sort of paste it over the shape. Press Ctrl X to put it on the clipboard, select the shape and go to picture fill. And here we can click on clipboard to paste in that image. Now here at the bottom, I'll put it on full screen. We can uncheck rotate with shape to keep it on the side. Now we can play around with the positioning if we want to sort of squeeze it into the right place where it makes sense. We can scale it until we have the right positioning of our image here on the screen. And now we're going to add some text to the slide. So I'm going to add a text box and we're going to type in ocean I'm going to choose a font. Let's try Poppins. I'm going to make it white, the font size. Let's try something large, 88, maybe even larger. If you can't go larger than 96, you can always just click on that one to make it even larger. So that's no problem. I'm going to go for a sub font called or extra bold to really make it stand out and maybe go for something like this. I think 115 is perfect. Ocean, then a small sub font waves. Let's give it a different font, sign painter, center it in the middle, and I'm going to make this stand out a bit more with that yellow. We're going for text options and let's give it a little shallow shadow to the right. Some blur transparency. And I think that really stands out. Now I'm going to add the text box below, type in equals lorem open brackets one comma two, and then we can sort of see that it's added a paragraph of text to the slide. Let's give this the same font here, 
So we both use Poppins, light version, if you want less text, that is also possible. So you can just fit it here on your slide. So that is already pretty good. I'll just animate this a little bit. So I'm going to select the three items here. Easy one that you can do is you can just go to animations and you can choose either float in, go to animation pane, and I'm going to do this on click and then a slight delay. So 0.2 and 0.4 for the others. And now let's preview this. And this is how you can create this really cool opening slide in PowerPoint with a very custom image placeholder and some nice effects on the slide.